Can you teach me a bit of mime? Um, I'd have to kill you afterwards. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's like the magic circle, not the... Not that they kill people. No. But, the, you know, it's all very, you it's know, all very enclosed secret. and secret. Because I've dabbled often in front of the mirror with the pretending there's a glass a yeah. glass wall. Do you do it actually on the mirror? Because if you touch the mirror, that is no longer mine. That is cheating, that is cheating. That is <laughs> good one's the old uh, rope. The pulling the, uh, the rope is a good one to I practice I don't on. know that one. It's just the, the you, you pull it, uh, you're having a tug of war, basically, with a, a fictitious uh, Don't describe team. it, D display it. I'm, I'm describing it. I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm I'm, I'm, I'm looking to get a job as, as um, like audio commentary for a bad mime. Right, okay. <laughs> so so subtitles for a bad mime, that kind of thing. That would so. be perfect. So yeah, we, yeah. Could, we could do that now. Would you like to subtitle perhaps me doing my, yeah, yeah, my mime? Yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. Trapped, trapped in a glass box. But not, not thin glass, he can't smash out of it. It's quite thick, kind of security glass. And He's decided that the only way to deal with this is to repeatedly touch it and tap on it. If it is an airtight glass box, you're going to run out of your oxygen quicker and have less chance of being found and rescued. I'd, I'd give a one or two knocks and then just relax, because, you know, if it's not going to break then, it's not going to break. Or do the uh, Kill Bill one-inch punch thing until you break the glass. Or I'd do it until right at the last minute and then go, right, I'll stop miming now and just step out. But if I was interviewing your penis right now and I said, give me your best anecdote, what would it say? Um... That, that'd all be too too blue for this kind of thing. That's all right, it's on the internet, you can say anything. Well, there was, I was once um, with a young girl, I'm not going to know, this is quite embarrassing for me and for the young girl, but I was, I was once with a young girl, things were getting heated, and I'm, an, I'm a lover of comedy over many things, even yeah. the potential of sex, but we just getting heated. She reached, you know, somewhere yeah. a bit obscene, and I responded by going, oh, found something you like. Which 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 killed the moment, killed it, but yes, for me yes. was a, a comedy high in in my yeah. in my life. So you that was the, that would be the anecdote my penis would tell. He's the only man I've ever known who has broken his banjo string. No, I bled twice in intimate moments. One was a groinal bleeding. Another was um, a, a, my nipple bled because I've got a pierced nipple. Ah, I see. And in the throes of passion, a dreadlock got caught in the nipple. Yikes! Ripped it bleeding. I didn't say anything until after the act had been uh, finished. I'm a gentleman, That's you know. I'm not nice. going to stop halfway yeah. through a performance, as it were, to uh, to nurse my wounds. She sat there thinking, "This man is lactating yeah. blood." And yeah. that guy was very appreciative, wasn't he? He was <laughs> very appreciative. Yeah. And he didn't rip out his dread or cut it off. He he waited and untangled it nicely. It was good. That's very kind. That was when I was having sex with Newton Faulkner, <laughs> just to clear that up. <laughs> that was my my tryst with Newton Faulkner. I was really enjoying saying Newton Faulkner <laughs> far more than I enjoy the music of Newton <laughs> Faulkner. To be completely honest that's about Newton what, Faulkner, that's probably where his success stems from. People are just name. buying the records. It's a posh name. I like it, yeah, Newton the Faulkner. Records. So they can tell their friends I bought Newton Faulkner's record. Yeah. Guess what I bought today, Newton Newton Faulkner. I'm having a bit of a Newton evening tonight. Absolutely. You want to come round? No, I fucking don't. I hate his music. Yeah, yeah. it's appalling. But I'm going to run a bath, put some oils in, pop on Newton Faulkner. <laughs> Why not, eh? Why not? Exactly. Now, I forbid my fear that you are hijacking this interview. We've not, Sorry. We've not let Dan say Sorry. too Sorry. bloody words. I know he doesn't like talking. No, 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 it's fine. It's fine. I was just counting the Newton Faulkners. Yeah, how many were there? Well, that's a total of 19, including my one. Right, chaps. I think I've taken up enough of your time. I think you're finding this whole experience probably... What's going on? I don't understand. I've been off for watching a bit of Dizzy Rascal. He was excellent. <laughs> he was exquisite. Now there's a proper MC. I saw you crowd surfing during the <laughs> 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 that. That anecdote. I was like, bring him this way with the with mime because I didn't want to. Really... Exactly. That was off off frame. Yeah, and you we came... come right back round to the beginning of mime. Ex excellent stuff. That's perfect. And there we are. <laughs> oh, the circle of life. It moves us all, Dan. Oh, Phil Collins. He was he was clever, wasn't he? Uh, that wasn't Phil Collins. That was Elton John. It doesn't matter though, does it? Phil Collins There's is two separate sentences. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. No I like connection. to state that Phil Collins is a genius in every opportunity I get. He's trying so hard to end this interview, and we've said we don't like doing. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're talking absolute shit about nothing. Yeah. So let's let you can end, end, end the interview. How should we end? How should we end the interview? You, because you walk, you stand up, throw your chair, and jump that fence. I'm genuinely off. Oh, Hang on. on. Flip the chair. Flip the chair. <gasps> uh, and jump the fence. Jump the fence. Jump it. Jump the fence. Ah, oh, he did well. He went for a high point.